Hello, all greetings, my friends. This is Gilles. I wanted to wish you a wonderful, wonderful new year for today's uh, is the new year, the new Chinese new year of the buffalo. For it is, it is, it is very, uh, unless you're a buffalo yourself, you're a bull yourself in Chinese astrology, it, it should be a good year, huh? but it's when it's your own sign, it's always more delicate to deal with. And there is this new moon that came in that really uh, assists us in, uh, in, uh, in, in, in observing the, the, the restriction limitation of the past and, and, and moving towards a, a, a new sense of freedom. Of the future, hein? for for it is always about the inner action, and we we are called to action. We are called into the yes, action, but the action is I an internal process, focusing here and now rather than on some distant future. And so it is. Um, I'm going to pull a few cards. I wanted to. What I'm coming here to do is to discuss philosophy, the law of one, the transcendental psychology, transcendental psychology and wisdom transcend astrology and and, um, and temporal. Uh, Frame, uh, yet uh, yet those 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 cosmic bodies that are going around us, we can, they, they are useful in in assisting the collective with their their evolution and process. Everything is connected and interconnected. A lot of the ideas that I'm talking about here. Um, they came from my experience for the most part. Uh, and and I would, of course, I read the Buddha, Lao Tzu, Confucius, uh, um, and, 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 and I followed the teachings of the Christ as well, and the Quran, and all, all, the, all the, the, the Torah, and all the, the great sacred books. And the, um, there's countless uh, sacred books. But recently, about a few years ago, I, I went back into reading uh, traditional philosophy, and I realized that a lot of this um, philosophy means uh, the, the love of wisdom. Uh, the, the philosophy is, is, is very essential. There is ne when are never too young or too old to to, to 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 study philosophy, for it is about finding what is good, what is a good life for human, uh, and to find it's like it, it assists us in those processes. But a lot of this, the ideas that I'm bringing here is uh, are already been expressed by traditional philosophers, such as uh, as life is internally perfect and we are just uh, expression of divine perfect beings in a divine perfect universe. Plato uh, explained that. I recommend all the books of Plato. They're quite wonderful and easy to read, just as the, the principle that everything is given through the intuition. Emmanuel Kant, in the Critic of the Pure Reason, already explained that also very clearly, although it's more, a bit more less accessible in terms of the, the verbiage. Um, the same with Spinoza, who's, uh, who's also a bit complex to approach, but uh, the acceptance that all of all of life is perfect is uh, Spinoza also explained that, or Empedocle, that, that so that. Um, Infinity was hidden within all sayings, or Heraclit, Heraclitus, that, that so that life was like a, f a river that flowed, and although it maintains its, uh, its essential. Um, is essential nature as a river. It, uh, we can never enter the same river twice, or, or like a sacred flame that burns within us and that is always different, teaching us new things. So philosophers, uh, there is a great deal to, to learn from philosophy. A lot of those philosophers, philosophers, to, those are those people who are s s try to think about how life functions, how life works. For when we align with the law of one, everything works and, and, and align together. For it, it is a great pleasure and honor to be here to share those ideas, to speak about those things, and I, I am very honored by your presence and your attention. And I, I hope you, 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 you continue to, to to receive and to and to express your own truth as well uh, around you. For everybody, we are not we're not ready to understand to, to, to those transcendental psychology yet. We we can uh, we can uh, f federate people, we can unify people around the, the the common sense. I'm not very Cartesian. There was a philosopher named Descartes who thought that, although he had some some remarkable thoughts as well. Uh, one of them was that we can we, there are certain things we have to agree about. Well, in his example, in the, the discourse of the method, he used the, the, the idea of the rose. He said, we, we have to agree, we, we should be able to agree on the fact that a rose is beautiful. Those who cannot agree that a rose is beautiful, that has beauty, not, not the, the beauty uh, in the absolute sense, but has beauty, uh, are, are not part of the norm, the normal thinking people. So we should be able to... to, 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 to to create this new world on, on common common sense. Uh, in France, we have liberty, equality, and, and, and brotherhood. But in America, there would be um, the right to, to just the common sense of the Constitution and uh, that uh, every man is created free, uh, equal in right, uh, and the pursuit of, uh, as the right to the to the pursuit of happiness, huh? so so those things will come back. And uh, the quality of life, we're gonna we're gonna need to to assert our powers towards that to. to 
to, to go and to, um, to bring some clarity into this world as much as possible. I'm going to pull a few cards to see with this, this deck. It's, it's, uh, it's a deck that, um, that speaks about the past life, so it's like memory and so, um, just for a change. If you want a private session, you can send me an email. I still have time to do that. If I have to stop doing those videos, I have thousands of over a thousand videos I placed over the past few years. Some of them are very interesting. You're welcome to go back and and look at it. I discuss all kinds of things in those videos through the years. Um, so the past is is Asia. It's represented by the Buddha, the serenity, the enlightenment. We come from the light. Uh, the light has, has been revealed in our minds through this year. It's very powerful. And now we are in healing. It's the healer. So it's, it's all about healing right now. And the future will be spirituality. It's, it's going to be this, this, this sense of spirituality. What we're working on now is, is, uh, is the monk or the nun. It means uh, not to dis, dis, uh, disperse our energy, to remain focused and concentrated, yet to enjoy life as much as possible, not to be uh, limited by, by all dogmas of, of, of the past. Uh, this, the idea that we need to be poor and we need to be celibate or to, to please God is not true. We need to be fulfilled and follow our heart. Well, this is my take after that. Take whatever resonates with you. But And uh, the, the outcome will be alimentation and anger. It means to, to know what's important. How do we nourish ourselves? What makes us feel good? Um, we need to put an end. To, we're going to need to put an end to all the war, the inner war and the battles. And, and then we, we're going to need to activate the flows of abundance and finance. All of this is going to come about as we make peace, as we understand what is essential um, and how we nourish ourselves materially and spiritually. We're going to be able to... to, to to find this balance and peace and activate the finances that will free us and for the most part it is important to to to, to think uh, to take care of that huh? for 2021 we are asked to 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 find our truth, to find our empowerment. And it's a new beginning that we started in 2020. We, 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 it was an expurge. We are expurging a lot of things and now we're really in this new beginning of the beginning. Um, and understanding where where are we in our power of the Creator, where are we in our truth, and where we are not in our truth, to be able to discern what does what does the form of the truth comes and the, the form of the untruth, what is the color of the untruth and the truth, what does it smell like, taste like, how does it look like, and see how the, uh, it happens. Uh, recognize how it works also in others, the feelings and forms of fulfillment, and how does it work, and we have to release all sense of fears and lack. Um, very important for there is a new direction that is that is needed we need to take a new direction to allow it can be small step it can be big steps but the small the new direction will, will take us where we need to go this year and uh, to become an expression of the creator love joy truth to, to focus on, on creatorship energy of fulfillment of creativity that which has come from the soul for for it's uh, we all made collective plan to participate in this ascension process before we even came into being into birth so it's a pre soul pre pre incarnation uh, uh agreement a pre birth agreement so uh, it, for the, it's very important to realize that um, the action is the focus is internal. We need to. We are not here to save the world. We are to save ourselves. We're not here to liberate the world. We need to liberate ourselves. For this, this will happen automatically once we take care of ourselves. And yet, for the world, we want to keep a global vision. It's important to continue to have the time to take some time to to imagine the world of peace, a world of abundance, uh, to send this light to this global vision uh, for this this unity consciousness and this global vision. We, we are working together. It is this freedom for. So, so it is an important part of the focal attention, yet it is, it is the inner process that will make it happen. Very soon the mask will drop and the truth will be known. Yet it will be a very hard lesson for humanity, hard and sad. Huh? Uh, some people won't even believe it. Huh? So, uh, um, so, so we want to, we, we're going to want to hold our truth to, to become our, uh, um, to become a higher self as much as possible. The universal Christ that will be awakening, and uh, we want our light body to resonate and, and come in, in integration with the light body of the planet. And um, so, so it's it's about being more conscious and more responsible as well. Huh? Uh, so, so we're learning that step by step, day after day. And uh, 
because we 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 face we, we, sometimes we face but with unsolvable problems we we the universe bring us problems that are completely unsolvable huh? so it is a time to reinforce our connection to our soul to our soul family our monad to our spirit guides and our creator huh? it is very important to continue to connect to that because if there is no solution that we have immediately then it is for us to connect inside first to ask for guidance to ask for for counsel and, and your guides are always there your guides and angels are part of your higher self they have different function you have all kinds of guides that assist you in different ways so it's about learning to to trust more and to to work with with them and, and when you work for your highest good, you work for the highest good of all. You cannot, you cannot work for your highest good and, and, and not be working for the highest good of all. It is the same thing as Hamlet in Shakespeare used to say, is uh, uh, to sign on self, be true. If, you, if you're true to yourself, you cannot be untrue to anybody else. Uh, so, uh, so it's about surrendering to love, the love of God and creation, to, 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 to as much as possible. So the card, uh, the cards of the day, the highest wisdom is the equitable beings to, to be fair, to be just, to be, to be balanced. What we need to understand is the tribe to connect to, to those people that uh, that are that are complementary to us, that are souls. That we have this this soul relation. What we need to do is the unfinished symphony to see those little things that are that we are not totally authentic with, that we are not totally empowered with, to that we are not fully our creator self with, and work on that to 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 realign them. And the outcome is the never-ending story. It means uh, uh, the dramas may still come up just to be challenged so that we, 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 we let go of them. Huh? So it's, it's very important that we, we do not pay too much attention to the, the possibility of drama so that we don't spend too much of our time and energy yet uh, connect, to you to, to connect more and more to this, this fear of void, this cre creatorship. Remember, you are the creator. And that's what I was uh, thought it was uh, to come to speak today. Uh, I hope you're having a good day. This new, new, new day, new year, new Chinese New Year, the year of the bull. So we're changing. It's a new cycle. I'm gonna sing this song. It's a song from the '80s. It goes like this: Show me how you do the trick, the one that makes me scream. She said, the one that makes me laugh. She said and threw her arms around my neck. Show me how you do it, and I promise you, I promise that I'll run away with you, I'll run away with you. Spinning on that dizzy edge, and I kissed her face, and I kissed her head, I dream of all the different ways I had to make her glow. Why are you so far away, she said, why won't you ever know that I'm in love with you, that I'm in love with you, you, soft and only you, lost and lonely you, strange as angels dancing in the deepest oceans, drifting in the water, you're just like a dream. You're just like a dream. They like licked me into shape. I must have been asleep for days and moving lips to breathe her name. I opened up my eyes and found myself alone, alone, alone above the raging sea that stole the only girl I loved and drawn her deep inside of me. You, soft and only you, lost and lonely you, just like heaven. So we have to be ready to embark on new adventure and to, to, to life has to become a new adventure always to create new. We need that. We need to return to life, to a life of joy and abundance and adventure. It is important to prepare ourselves for that. And... And the card of the day is the four of, of Raphael, looking into new possibilities. So it's important to look into the new. The, this year has to mark something completely new. Huh? Look into the magical side of life. Becoming aware of your emotions, self-awareness is very important. To become aware of our thoughts and emotions and allow us, allow ourselves to be guided step by step towards, uh, towards, to, towards the ascension and the realization of, of, of this disintegration of that divinity within. Well, I wish you a wonderful day and I'll talk to you later. Thank you. Namaste.